Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, hey, independent Sensi consultant, um, back with you again today. Weird thing just happened. I was recording and my camera shut off and it didn't save anything. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, so let's start this all over again, you guys. So some of it's not my first impression because my camera decided not to save whatever was happening weird. So I have a huge ginormous Scentsy party closeout. I had been saving it for a while. Um, and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who was gonna place an order, just an order, didn't wanna actually have a party, but just wanted to place an order and either added it to mine and Dale's party or ends up adding it to my daughter's party or someone else that's having a party with me. Um, it means a lot, you guys. Thanks to you guys and me continuing whenever I do order something, adding it to a party, that makes this possible. Um, and if you guys wanna do the same, you can always contact me. You can open a party link and if you just wanna shop from your own party link, you can totally do that. That's what I do. Um, that's a great perk of being a consultant. And um, don't feel like you can't do the same. Just feel free to contact me. And my email's in the description box. And yeah, you can open a party link too and do the same thing and just buy on it. Especially like this time of year when you know like you might be ordering several things since he loves to from September to December do a ton of launches and amazing products so if you're like me and you're going to be ordering a lot you know do a party link and cash it out and get fun stuff like this so I'm seeing <laughs> um wait real quick um it's sad that I didn't save this so Last month, Diane and Natalie from Jersey Shore Living and Charity from Charity Rose, they did a bingo and they gave away some of the things that they have just for fun, you guys, just to get the wax community together, have fun playing bingo. I happened to win and this was one of the things that I could pick from um, when, Natalie, when it was Natalie's turn. And I got cream soda cupcake um, from the bathing garden. And I've never actually purchased from the bathing, bathing garden. It's always been um, things that people have given to me. But you guys, look how stunning that is. That's gorgeous. Um, and it's light. It's very, very light. Almost like a whipped cream, like a vanilla whipped cream. It's very pretty, but I'm scared <laughs> that my nose doesn't always love vanilla. Not that it doesn't love it, but that it doesn't always pick up vanilla. And this is very light to me and I'm hoping I can smell it when it's warming. Cause it's pretty, it's so pretty. Like, um, almost kind of like a whipped frosting on a cake really creamy and pretty <laughs> yeah I mean that's stunning if nothing else I'm tickled with trying it because <laughs> it's stunning <laughs> I was so excited I won that like and it looks like seashells on the edge I mean what a beautiful job the bathing garden does thank you Natalie um and thank you guys for doing a wonderful thing they're going to be doing it again in october so definitely check out um, their community tabs um <laughs> you guys i set this stuff here and then so this was an idea um that i got i didn't even realize you could do this until i was watching angie smith um on her channel talk about whenever she cashes out a party she adds um 
they're only a dollar for a 10 pack of customer bags. I think I type in customer and it pops up as one of the options. But you get 10 of these for a dollar, you guys, and they're big enough for warmer. They don't say Scentsy on them. So if you want the ones that say Scentsy, you pay extra from the consultant store. But look, you guys, they're big enough that they fit a warmer and whatever else. These are nice to have. So as a consultant, whenever you're cashing out a party, add some of these to your party order. Um, you know, whether customers are ordering or not, because these are great to have for like vendor events, um, stuff like that. So these are wonderful. <laughs> so I'm tickled pink to get some of these. So thank you, Angie Smith, for that great tip. And I try to always remember, but you have to do it from the workstation, obviously. <laughs> Um, you have to be a consultant. That's the only reason you don't these anyway, but, um, yeah, so I got three of these, three packs of these for a dollar. And they did put ice packs in, um, I don't get plastic. This one is dry and not cold. This one is wet and kind of cold, and I don't know if it's kind of cold because it's wet. And I don't know if it's wet because of the condensation. Um, or if it's wet because it leaked, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. there was that. <laughs> and then, um, I'm going to save these and do a separate video for the pink cancer set that we as consultants got to get ahead of time and the Christmas stuff that we got to get ahead of time. And then I got, cause I was out of these, I had to steal it from another warmer. And I was like, oh geez, I need to get some of these. So I got um, a three pack of 25 watt bulbs. Always good to keep on hand. Okay. And then I, you can't get these with your hostess items or your hostess rewards or you can't get Disney and you can't get um, clearance items. So I had to purchase these, but I got Luna in the sugar scrub for only $6. And I had gotten one of these in a whiff box and fell in love with it and was like, oh, like they don't sell sugar scrub anymore. So I got to get some of these while they're still in clearance. And I also got cozy cardigan. I've never tried this before. And for $6, I was like, I need to try this. And so I did open it and smell it. Um, but it's beautiful. It reminds me of Kleenex tissues. <laughs> but it's so pretty, so cozy. So I actually want to get some more of both. Um, but for now, I just got one of each. I love the Scentsy Sugar Scrubs. They're not too abrasive. Um, they have a nice amount of oil. So that's wonderful. <laughs> I didn't get to opening my warmers yet, so, um, but I did, um, one of my half off items, I got a tub of, um, clothesline washer whiffs and I usually go through the washer whiffs faster because I want to smell it. I'm like, well, was, what's the point of the laundry that could be a little expensive, um, if you don't smell it. So I tend to go through these faster than I do the laundry liquid. And I have several just laundry liquids. Like I have Scentsy Clean still. Um, i to think. I think some windowsill berries, although I have a whole nother set, but windowsill berries and cranberry and tinsel from last year. I use the whiffs, but I still have the laundry liquids. So basically I think that the, that, Clothesline goes with everything because it makes it all smell like whatever in laundry. So I opted to get clothesline to go with my random um, laundry liquids. And then for free, I got a Laundry Love Bundle in Fiji Flower. And I love Fiji Flower for my towels. My towels sitting in the closet, the linen closet there. It'd be like two weeks and they still smell amazing when I use Fiji flower. Um, yeah, 
I, I'm obsessed and I was out of it. I used it all. So I couldn't wait to get more of this and I always get like the coordinating dryer discs. Now I was saying I love dryer discs. I use all four of these at once and sometimes I'll use the old ones plus new ones. If I have them, I store them in the tub, in the coordinating scented tub. But I was saying I had gotten out of clearance before um, white tea and cactus dryer discs. I think um, French lavender. I can't remember what else. I paired French lavender with Jamie Time. White tea and cactus I did with whatever. But <clears throat> I've noticed when I throw the random dryer disc that I've gotten out of clearance, like a flash sale or whatever, in with like this stuff, I can smell the difference. And that's how I know that these work. Granted, I use all four at once, and sometimes eight of these are tumbling around in my washer. Um, like I have clothesline, windowsill breeze, Scentsy Clean all go together. So I might even, you know, have like eight of those white teen cactus. I think I've added with like clothesline and stuff and I can smell the difference like when I've added those. So that's how I know personally that these work for me. I'm not saying they work for everybody, but they work for me. Um, well then for half price, I decided to try something new. I was very intrigued and I got to thinking this would be great on towels. I don't know about clothes, but um, towels and bedding specifically, I went with white tea and cactus. Or no, what am I saying? <laughs> um, white amber and teak, you guys. This is the new laundry stuff that came out and smelling it, it's actually very nice. It's not as manly as I thought it would be. Granted, I haven't washed up with it, but to me, it's fresh and clean. A little bit woodsy. I can't really say that I think it's manly. It's like a clean, woodsy smell. I actually really love it. Um, so I may even wash my clothes in it. Um, but definitely towels and bedding. I was so intrigued. I was like, I've got to try this. In the wax, this reminds me of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. So I was like, I don't mind if my bedding smells like that or my towels. I don't know about my clothes, but I don't know, you guys. It's not as manly as I thought it was going to be. I might even try it on my clothes, depending on how it works on the bedding. So I got two laundry bundles. One was half price and one was free. And I also got a moisture medley. Now, <clears throat> I don't love always, I have a lot of hand soap and I've even taken some to work because I have so many. I don't always want the hand soap because I have a lot. And I don't love the texture of the hand cream. But you can get half off of these four items, whereas if you just do this individually and get half off, you're getting half off of one item. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to get these anyway, you know, why not basically you know, get the half off and get these for free? So as much, I got this for Dale and then he decided that the Luna one that I had in the bathroom is what exacerbated his um, eczema on his um, one finger there. And he didn't notice it flare up until he was using the Luna. Granted, it's older. So I don't know, but um, I suppose I can use this or maybe even give it away to someone. It smells more like soap than manly in the actual body products. But I did get a hand soap in Luna. I actually do love Luna. So I got one of those and I picked my favorite thing, <laughs> Jammy Time in the body wash and the body cream. This is my favorite body wash, my favorite body cream. It's Freesia Lavender and Sweet Pea. It's cozy. Um, it's comforting. It's soothing, especially with the lavender in it. And then it becomes a little more perfumey with the Freesia and the Sweet Pea. Um, but I have anxiety and part of my job is to be on the phones. And so I find Jamie time in the morning before I go to work 
soothing for my anxiety. It helps calm me down. I can smell this. This is so good that I can smell this on my body partway through the day. Um, I mean, towards the afternoon, I'm still smelling it on myself and it just zens me out. <laughs> I just feel calmer, you know, it helps chill me out a little bit. So if you have anxiety, I highly recommend, don't think kids, jammy time in the body wash and the body cream are amazing to layer together if you have anxiety. Um, I would totally put this on my kids. I am obsessed with the consistency and the texture of the body cream. Amazing. The hand cream still makes my hands feel dry. Whatever they put in that to make it non-greasy. I feel like this is non-greasy. Um, this never makes my hand, my body feel greasy or anything. And it feels moisturized. Whereas the hand cream has something in it that makes it non-greasy. And it dries my hands out. I don't like it. So I prefer to use this anyway. I cannot recommend enough jammy time. It's my favorite. Of, of every single scent, it's my favorite. And then um, the Perpetual Party Award. So I had four half up items. I've been saving this for a while. And a Perpetual Party Award. Now I know that you're supposed to, it says in the Scentsy catalog, um, if you have a party, if your hostess has a party, um, <clears throat> or host, <laughs> has a party and someone books off of them, you get for their party, if you attend their party, you get the perpetual party award is how it's supposed to go. I don't have people do that. <laughs> um, and nobody notices that in the catalog anyway and calls me out on it. Um, I'd honor it if they did, but I usually give the perpetual party award um, to the people that actually party with me as a thank you gift. So I'm like, you know, to this dollar amount, pick something half off and that's my gift to you. And that's what I do. And on the workstation, you can pay for, like I can pay for part of it and then they pay for part of it is how I do it. Um, so you can use two payment methods and yeah, I'll pay for their perpetual party award. And um, that's my thank you to them for having a party. So that's how I use it. Well, because this was my party, <laughs> I, I thanked myself <laughs> and I got um, the Harvest Oil Collection. And so they've gone away from using the tins, which is fine because even though I think Dale finally took them to music school, he's like, oh, we can come up with some, some way to use these. Um, I might have used them for Scentsy Soak, but then they got rid of the Scentsy Soak. So I'm like, I don't know what to do with these anymore. I hate to just throw them away and Dale took them to do whatever <laughs> at the music school. I don't know. Um, and so I'm kind of glad that they went to this because yeah, but you just, you don't need the tins. So this is what it looks like now when you get these and that's good because you can throw this away. Um, but <laughs> the, by the names, you guys, they had me. They had me. I had to try these from names alone. And I don't think, what was it? I don't think it was, I think it was the Valentine's collection that I didn't try the oils. I was like, eh. <laughs> um, This one is Beetles and Blood Orange. And it's Fresh Cut Palmarosa. I don't know what that is. I assume it's a flower, but I don't know. <laughs> Cast into a cauldron of mulled cranberry and orange spice. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if this will be like Wassel Wonderland. Better. You guys, it's so good. It's fruity to me. And it's like a rich fruity. I don't, I don't personally get floral. If that's even what Pomerosa is. Oh, it's good. It reminds me of like, um almost like a cranberry jelly, like homemade jelly candy. Um, you know what, I might look that up because I have my iPad here. Uh, let's see. Cute, Paul, Paul Marosa. Reminds me of Amorosa that was on, what was it The Can't remember that show that Trump had before he became president. <laughs> Cannot remember the name of the show. 
Um, so, Pomerosa. There are many incredible things. Oh, man. For this soft green and floral essence or essential oil, Pomerosa essential oil is wonderful is a wonderful contender for provide I don't know that's we don't want what the essential oil does hmm I need to type in what is <laughs> uh what it is It's known as the Indian geranium. Pomerosa essential oil has a rose-like scent that makes it a beautiful addition to your essential oil. It's in evergreen tall grass, commonly found in East Asia. Yeah, this, I mean, this smells good to me. It literally smells like, almost like a raz. I hate to say raspberry because I don't get raspberry, but like a cranberry jelly filling of like, you know, like chocolates and they have a jelly filling. Ooh, I take it back. You know what this reminds me of? Got it. You know, um, they make oranges that are that are orange flavored chocolate and they're already, you know, they break open. That's what this smells like. Um, is the orange chocolate and does this smell like chocolate? No, but it's the orange scent that's in the orange flavored chocolate. That's exactly what this is. Oh, you guys, I love that. I might need another one of these oil sets, but um, here's a picture of Paul Marosa. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. <laughs> and then the next one is snake oil and cedar wood. This is described as simmering pumpkin puree with a bite of nutmeg stirred with a staff of cedar wood. I get the pumpkin and the nutmeg. Oh, you guys, it's really good. It's like a pumpkin. Okay, so bear with me. McDonald's, <laughs> their pies, they'll do like a pumpkin one, like the pumpkin pie. That's what this reminds me of. Like the filling that's in those pumpkin pies at McDonald's. <laughs> those are good, you guys. Those are my favorite ones. Um, the strawberries and cream is my second favorite. No, I'm gonna die early because those are not good for you. Oh, you guys, it smells like, it reminds me of those pumpkin pies that you get from McDonald's. Mm. And then the last one is Wolf Spain and Apple Brandy. This is the one I wanted to try the most because I was like, ooh, it sounds like werewolves. <laughs> it says a goblet of apple brandy enchanted with bright ginger root and a dash of sparkling orange. You guys, it smells, it reminds me of, um, um, did I just smear my eyeliner? No, um, butter rum extract. I don't know, the way the apple, the ginger root, and the orange, apple brandy. Hey guys, it's good. <laughs> it reminds me of buttered rum extract though. When you're making like hardtack candy and you use the butter rum one. And I keep getting it on my nose. Oh, you guys, these are amazing. Amazing, and I want another set. But you guys, look at the packaging. Look at the art on these. Look how adorable those are. I love that. I might have to just cut this and save it. Look at the bones around. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's beautiful. I love this. So I think I paid $9 because I use that as my perpetual party award. And this is where my camera cut me off last time. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? Like, did you not record? I could have swore I saw it recording, but maybe I didn't tap it well enough and it was just sitting there. And after 20 minutes, it was like, eh, and it shut off. I don't know. So I got a six pack of wax for half price. 
a bundle. <clears throat> and then I got Frosted Cinnamon Roll. Look at the artwork. I think me and Chris from Dazzling Sense with Chris are like the only people that don't love this. Dale loved it. And I did it in the office and he like gave me a headache and I'm not sure I love the actual cinnamon oil that they use in this. I don't like cass, is it cassia? Um, cinnamon essential oil. There's something about it that just doesn't jive with me. Um, this reminds me an awful lot and I think it's why I don't love anymore. Pumpkin cinnamon swirl, used to love it. Used to love the cream cheese note in it. I like pumpkin roll better because it doesn't have that cream cheese note. Um, granted, it's been a while since I built a pumpkin roll, um, but I used to love it. I think I still love Scary Good more, and I'm totally keeping Scary Good. Um, but this reminds me of pumpkin roll without the cream cheese. Or, I'm sorry, cin pumpkin cinnamon swirl with the cream cheese note. I think it's... The type of, it almost feels slightly waxy. Too. Dale loved it, but it comes off a little bit waxy and dull vanilla to me. And I think that's why I don't love it. I almost feel like I get a little bit of dough. What it reminds me of, when I was little, uh, my mom used to a few times let me make um, cinnamon rolls with her. And it reminds me of the dough. And I guess the note that's coming off almost reminds me of the butter that you spread on it and then you sprinkle the cinnamon sugar mix. It reminds me of the dough, like the yeasty dough, the butter, <laughs> and this, it probably smells good to most of you, and the cinnamon sugar mix before you bake it. I don't love it, but I think it's because my nose is weird with vanilla. I either really, really, really love vanilla or meh. I either can't smell it or it does, it smells waxy to me. This is the type of vanilla that smells waxy to me. And I'm not loving the, 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 I guess the way that it's playing with the vanilla. But I don't like, it reminds me a lot when it was warming of cinnamon vanilla. I don't like that one either. And I think it's the way the cinnamon and the vanilla are playing together and they're not friends. And my brain and my nose is like, no. But if you like cinnamon vanilla, if you love cinnamon pumpkin roll, I think that you'll really like this. Dale loved it. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to club it, but I'll get one more. I'll do it down here. See if it gives me a headache less. If, if I enjoy it more in a bigger space because I did the whole darn bar. I always do bars, whole bars at a time, unless I'm doing a mixer. Yeah, I did the whole darn bar in the office. Maybe down here dispersed a little bit, four in this room, four in that room. I'll like it better, doubt it, but this is for Dale. <laughs> um, and then I got a bar of Dutch apple bread. Now I did like this, I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it. Um, I do love apple like this, like an apple. It reminds me of like McDonald's, like the apple pie filling. Love to eat like, and it's not. Okay, so baked apple pie, love that. Love that. That reminds me of when you're making an apple pie before you bake it and you have the the you know pie crust dough and you're putting the fresh cut apples and the cinnamon and sugar and I usually put nutmeg in with mine too and you're putting that mixture in the pie shell the uncooked pie shell that's what that one reminds me of and I love it when I make apple pie this one smells like the apple pie filling that's in the McDonald's apple pies. <laughs> I like it. I don't know that I love, love, love it, but I like it. Dio really liked this one too. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to club it, but let's get another one and have fun. Yeah. It reminds me of that sweet, ooey gooey apple pie filling in the 
McDonald's apple pies. <laughs> okay. And then I had to get another bar in the packaging, the artwork, <laughs> the, um, the nutcrackers on this one kill me. Um, this is frosted cedar. You guys look at the nutcrackers like here. <gasps> I love the nutcracker artwork. Totally clubbing this one. I'm obsessed. I love this. Oh, this is good. It's pretty. It's like cedar, but it's sweet and it's almost slightly perfumey. Um, cedar? Did I say cedar? No. Like almost like it reminds me a lot of Disney Season of Magic, but if you made it more slightly sophisticated, it's like that sugary tree note, but then you made it like more sophisticated and fancy by putting in like a perfumey note and a creaminess. I love this. This is club worthy to me. Frosted cedar. Love. <laughs> Why wasn't that one in the with box? I like that one way better than Fall into Love is the other one. That one smells like pine cleaner. I don't like that one. Um, and then I got a bar of Make Me Snickerdoodle. I think I'm one of the only people that love this. Love this. Neighbor boys <laughs> like to go out back and we have a fenced in yard. They like to look and the stray cats have adopted my porch. Um, some of them, the mom and the three kittens. Well, they're older now. They're probably six months tops. Um, yeah, so they hang out on my porch and the boys like to come over and look at them. I, I feel like every animal deserves a name. So I've named them. Um, we feed them. Yeah. I love this. This gives me vibes of um, spun sugar from the Mix It collection. I love this. It has that burnt sugar note to it that I'm upset, like a caramelized sugar. I love everything about this one. This is club worthy to me. <laughs> I love it way more than frosted cinnamon roll. But I love smoky. I don't love beef jerky. <laughs> I don't mind the on the grill for like in the appropriate places, not my house, but I don't want it to smell like beef jerky in my house. So like the Gryffindor one, don't like that. It reminds me of beef jerky. <laughs> um, there's another one from like last year's harvest collection that I didn't like. It smelled like beef jerky or liquid smoke, I don't know. I love this. I love this. You get the cookie, you get the cinnamon, and then you get this like burnt sugar note that I'm obsessed with. This was a great performer for me. I loved it. Um, to me, this replaces sugar cookie and I want this in my life. I actually think I like it better than sugar cookie. Um, and then um, I got a bar of white pumpkin and driftwood. I thought this was fancy. <laughs> it gives me vibes of like, like a pumpkin with some cinnamon and then like a baby doll face. <laughs> um, so it's kind of powdery. It's slightly masculine, but not in an overtly obnoxious way like white amber antique in the bar is. Like a whisper of manly but you get like a it's like it's kind of like a pumpkin men's cologne but a soft one so you get like the powdery note a slightly masculine note and that's the baby doll face and like pumpkin cinnamon you get like I don't know I love that I think that's club worthy my favorite, my fave that this is Harvest. Make me Snickerdoodles, a new release. Frosted Cedars, a new release. Dutch Apple Bread is Harvest. So there's two Harvest bars that I want to club. And this is um, a new release, Palo Santo and Cinnamon. This is my favorite. This is fancy. I'm obsessed with this one. 
Oh my gosh, I love everything about this, but I found that I, and this is not the typical Scentsy Palo Santo, although I love their Palo Santo. People think it smells like your house is on fire. I don't disagree, but to me it's like a sweet fire and I like it. This, this is like fancy rich people house. I want my house to smell like this all fall. This is 100% club worthy for me. The Palo Santo in this is almost like, well, almost gives me a slight patchouli in a cologne vibe. It's got this earthy, woodsy. If you like patchouli in a men's cologne, and I'm not talking like obnoxious patchouli, because I don't always love that, but blended. No, the Palo Santo gives it like this, this sweet smokiness. It's, you guys, this smells like, you know, you're in like a Better Homes and Garden, kind of a magazine. <laughs> and you have like this fuzzy cream colored um, cashmere sweater and you're sitting on like your white leather furniture and you have like this fireplace and it's just got this and it's like you have um almost like a ski lodge and it's like you know is this cedar no cinnamon i don't know it's like you have a fireplace and it's snowing outside and you have these big, almost like floor to ceiling, big window. Oh, sorry, that probably wasn't great in front of the camera. <laughs> big picture window. Sorry, I talk with my hands sometimes. And like your guy's sitting next to you and he smells like he has a whisper of cologne on. But you smell that little bit of woodsy. Maybe they have some cinnamon potpourri like on the table next to you. This is fancy, this is cozy, I'm obsessed. <laughs> yeah, so I had to get more of that. So of all the bars that I could choose, those were the six that I chose. Two were for Dale, and then the rest were for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I have four warmers. Um, should I save my favorite for last? Oh, you guys, okay. Um, so I had to get this. I kind of wanted to get this for my kitchen. Have the pumpkin spice, everything nice, full size, looks like a mug, like an actual mug. But it's only an eight watt element warmer. And I'm not sure stuff performs great in that. So I wanted to get something for my kitchen that I felt, you know, Halloween time, that as much as I love that warmer. Um, would perform really well. So I got Let's Get Batty. I actually love, love, love fruit bats. <laughs> They're adorable. Um, we don't have any here, we have regular bats. Um, I don't mind bats. I think they're kind of cute and fuzzy. <laughs> um, they scare me if they have rabies, <laughs> but um, like Batman. Um, I love the whole story with Batman and his, you know, like living in the bat cave and he was afraid of bats and then he became Batman. Like I just, I love that whole thing. My favorite Batman series is the one with like Christian Bale um, and Morgan Freeman. Love that Batman series. So this reminds me of like Batman and all that stuff. So I had to, I had to have the Let's Get Batty. Now you, now you know, if you watched me, that I love the white on white warmers. So the fact that these had, um, it was a white ceramic warmer and it had like these really cool bats kind of flying off the warmer. Um, I had to, <laughs> I had to have it. And it's, so it's a glazed dish, obviously. Um, four cubes is the optimal scent throw <laughs> suggested. Um, and then here's the warmer and this is a 25 watt warmer, right? Almost positive. Hmm. Uh, I'll be able to tell by the bulb. It's usually on your, there's usually a, yeah, sticker on your, 
um, cord. So yeah, 25 watt warmer. Uh, so this is going in my kitchen, although it would go beautifully with my whole white thing I got going on in my, my living room always. So I'm always obsessed with the, oh you guys, this is cute, with the white warmers. Okay, so I have to show you how well, oh you guys, this is beautiful and these are metal, so you'll want to be careful. Um, but do you see how they come off and how they're put in? Oh you guys, it's stunning, but look at the inside how it's done. That's so well done. I'm obsessed. It has a nice low profile to the to the way that they come off. You guys, it's stunning. <laughs> it's truly stunning. I'm obsessed and I love it. Oh, I'm obsessed. Um, we had a house when I was little in another town. And we used to get bats, and my mom was terrified of the bats. And so then for a while, for a long time, I was afraid of bats, but then kind of like Batman. Um, but then I'm not afraid of bats anymore, like when I grew up. Although I don't want them, so they say, <laughs> about getting stuck in your hair. It's like an old wives' tale. I don't, I don't know. I still don't want them to get stuck in my, my bun or anything. I always have, as Chris from Dazzling Sense with Chris put it, it made me crack up cotton candy hair. I relate, Chris. I have cotton candy hair. <laughs> um, when it gets like, the more humid it is out, the more cotton candy like your hair gets. Yeah. Um, so you guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> I love Halloween. Um, I think it's because my birthday is in October. And ready? Oh. It's beautiful. I love everything about this warmer. It's gorgeous. I love how small of a profile that is, but it's like three dimensional. You guys, I literally love everything about that. That's so well done. This was half price. Oh yeah, I regret nothing. What an amazing purchase that one was. Wow, and I have a black and white kitchen. This is gonna be fantastic. <gasps> wow. <laughs> okay, I'm in love with that. <laughs> Woo, okay, that was fun. Then, okay. I have a pumpkin obsession. Here, let me get things out of the way. Like, I'm obsessed with pumpkins. Like, like I love pumpkins. <laughs> I have all kinds of like white and aqua colored pumpkins um, that after Halloween that I'll take down um, this stuff and put up like the um, aqua colored pumpkins. <laughs> I have so many. Um, so right there, sorry, to shake that. So right there is like my Halloween display for right now. So yeah, I love pumpkins. So why is it shaking like that? I had to have um, Harvest Bounty, this white pumpkin. I love white, <laughs> I love white stuff. I painted my brick fireplace white. Like I love, I painted this white. It was a free dresser that I got. Um, she was just going to destroy it. And I was like, I'll take that. Um, this I think is a 20 watt, but I got to look at the cord. <gasps> you guys look at the lid. It's not like an overly glazed, but it's like a lightly glazed. I'm, I'm not sure that'll be, I didn't get, I got this for aesthetics. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be great for scent throw per se. I thought about putting this in my kitchen too. Um, I, I love element warmers, like love. I might even put this in my bedroom, but I don't know. I love what I got going on up there. Um, what wattage is this? Oh, 
Oh, it's a nine watt. That's not terrible. What did I say? Eight. <laughs> um, it's a nine watt. I didn't figure it'd be like fantastic, but it's an element warmer. I never, never, never turn off my element warmers. Um, I like that they have a little notch on the lid. Goes with the little notch here. So they, they match up so it doesn't slide all over if you're putting that on. But you guys, look how gorgeous this pumpkin is. But um, they're basically a hot plate. Um, and I, I love them. I kind of wish this was deeper. 100 bucks it says four cubes. Yep. <laughs> it's got a four on the bottom so that you know four cubes is the optimal scent throw. <laughs> um, which is basically a um, the size of a, a brick cube. Um, yeah. That would be fine. It might come up to the top, but that's what they recommend for the best scent throw. And so far, honestly, in my element warmers, four cubes is optimal. It's fantastic. But I only have two in my bedroom, so I do a whole four in one element warmer, four in the other element warmer. Um, yeah, so I love this. It's petite. It's gorgeous. I love the basket weave on it. On the back, it, it won't actually light up, but on the back you have an indicator light that tells you that it's on. Um, it's cute as a button. Now, if I go to actually warm melt wax, I'll probably take the lid off. But I got it, and this was free. <laughs> I got it mostly for decor. I don't have to light anything up in this. Um, I just thought it was gorgeous even not being used, but I might try it just to see how well it performs. Um, but I love it. So maybe I'll try that in my kitchen for, no, I don't want to. I've had bad luck with lower wattage warmers in my kitchen. So I definitely want to try the fat one in there. Oh, I that one. And I have two more warmers. <laughs> oh, I think this goes in this box. My apologies. Hold on. I don't want to forget who goes where. Yeah. And I love these versus the styrofoam. I hate styrofoam. Falls apart. After a while, it's like you have nothing left after you tear it out of the warmer several times. Um, let's do the other Halloween one and then I have a non-Halloween one. <laughs> This is the Halloween one that this was the only one. If I could only get one thing, this is the one that I wanted. I have the mini and I'm obsessed. It's my favorite mini warmer in the whole wide world. Calvarita. I love sugar skulls. I love Mr. Bones. Cute Mr. Bones. That's scary, creepy Mr. Bones. But I love Mr. Bones when I went to massage school and did all my anatomy and physiology um, courses. I love the bones <laughs> and I fell in love with Mr. Bones and I've always been obsessed with drawing like in biology class, the skeletal system. Um, look at this tiny petite dish. Oh my gosh. This is three cubes. You don't see that very often. See, it's a number three. So three cubes for optimal scent throw. It's a teeny tiny petite thing. Love it. <gasps> Guys. Mm. And being white on white. Oh, you guys, I might have to take a small video and attach it um, to my mini um, Calvarita warmer. It looks stunning, but you'll see when I light it up. The detail. <laughs> The detail in this. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. I requested last year that they bring this out in full size and I was like, oh. for those who think that they don't listen to the idea portal, it just depends on what they want to do or not. Um, but they listen. I requested this and I got it. I requested jammy time, a coordinating jammy time body cream. They listened. I did not request hand cream. Guess what? We got body cream, not hand cream. Um, 
So I think this is a 20 watt, which is kind of sad. Yeah, it is a 20 watt. Mm. But maybe it's more petite. Well, the dish is petite, so it's probably a more petite warmer. It's a tiny 20 watt bulb. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know. Cherry was just here. I don't know where he went. <gasps> you guys. He's right here. <laughs> you may see him walking around. There he goes. <laughs> uh, okay. This lit up, not even with wax. I needed this in my life. He's beautiful and he's a cute soul. He's zero creepy to me. <gasps> I love him. He's a, and it has feet. So it's a white and white ceramic warmer. Look at that sugar skull. Wow, he's stunning. If you celebrate Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, if you like have a Latino background, um, Sugar Skulls are huge in that. If you've ever watched Coco from Disney, oh, I am obsessed with him. <gasps> He's stunning. I need to move a pumpkin for him. He's stunning. I was gonna put him in, I still might put him in my living room. He's stunning. <gasps> He's stunning. Oh, I love him. Okay. I cannot wait to light him up. Oh, he's beautiful. <gasps> I love him. Oh my gosh, you guys. Calaverita. I wish I knew what Calaverita stood for. So again, it's the vent holes. I'm probably just gonna take this off whenever I melt something. Ooh, and you guys, the light bulb, this is gonna be a great performer. The light bulb is super close. Like I'm afraid. Okay, so it doesn't quite touch because this dish sits right on top. If this dipped down at all, it would be touching the bulb. That, I mean, the bulb is super close, super close. Ooh, it's gonna be a great performer. Ooh. Trying to think of him. Oh, I love him. I'm obsessed. He's my new favorite thing. Mr. Bones. Oh, you guys, he's gonna be amazing lit up. Oh, I know he is. Every white on white warmer is stunning lit up. He's gonna be stunning. Might see him next video. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, 21. Oh, he's gonna be. <gasps> and that's gonna Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> Look at how beautiful Mr. Bones is, you guys. Let me turn this off. You guys, he's gorgeous. Do you see how gorgeous he is? Wow. He's magnificent. Look at the sun. <gasps> oh, I love him. I love him. You guys, he's gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. <gasps> it's got the notch in the back for your cord. It's got, you know, light holes in the back. <gasps> he's stunning. He's completely stunning. And then he looks just fine without... Oh, you guys! Tell me that's not the most stunning thing you've ever seen. <gasps> Oh, I'm so happy that they left him white on white and they didn't actually color. As much as I enjoy a good white sugar skull with color, with lots of color, I'm obsessed with the fact that he is not colored and he's just white on white porcelain. 
Oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. Bravo, Sensi. Bravo. <laughs> he's stunning. He's completely stunning. Bravo, you did an amazing job. Wow. He's fantastic. <laughs> he's truly fantastic. And the ceramic is gonna hold the heat. That 20 watt bulb is uber close to this dish. Like uber close, like practically touching it. That's gonna do fantastic. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't put a 20 watt bulb in or a 25 watt bulb, but he's amazing. Oh my gosh, he's amazing. Although this, with the part of the skull that comes off, did anybody ever see Hannibal? <laughs> with Anthony Hopkins, my favorite actor. Doesn't it kind of remind you of like Hannibal? Okay, just saying. But he's beautiful and I love him and I'm obsessed. <laughs> he was free. <laughs> Um, the only, uh, these were, these were, the pumpkin was free, the baddie was half price, the sugar skull was free, and this, um, next warmer that I'm going to show you was free. <laughs> My other favorite thing, it's a new release, I had to have it, I absolutely had to have it, it's Verve, you guys, <gasps> Verve, okay. I, one of my favorite warmers is in the clouds. It's white blown glass, white and clear blown glass. I love blown glass. I have several aqua and white colored pumpkins that are blown glass. Like I love blown glass. Speaking of which, <laughs> I had a decorative glass, aqua colored, turquoise colored um, bowl that used to sit on the coffee table behind me. Charlie <laughs> knocked it off and broke it. So I have to find another one, but I love blown glass. Like I have a blown glass shark in my living room. Like I love blown glass. I have blown glass vase, vases, vases. Um, love blown glass. <laughs> my daughter um, even brought me back a piece, but um, went to the Murano Glass Muse Museum factory in Murano, Italy, when she went out to Europe on a people-to-people -people trip when she's in, like, 11th grade that we raised money for. We've been to the Corning Glass Museum. Like, I, we live close by there, um, like, a couple hours away, you guys. <laughs> the dish, can you see that? It's kind of like, um, I wouldn't really say bubbled, but it has like air in it. It's a, this is heavy. This is a four cube dish for optimal centro. <laughs> Orville himself said so. <laughs> um, that that's what that means. You guys, this is like, do you remember the old Coke bottles when I was young, when I was little? Um, my grandpa used to be a Coca-Cola vendor, delivery truck person. And this room, he, it, it looks like the Coca-Cola glass bottles that you used to drink Coca-Cola out of. And it's heavy. And it's that same, has like bubble glass in it. <gasps> it's that slightly green tint. It, every single one of these are going to be different. Because they've taken pieces of glass and, and it's styrofoam. <laughs> My least favorite thing. Oh. This reminds me of marbles when I was little. Um, used to love to play marbles. You guys, this is heavy. Oh. <gasps> Takes my breath away. <laughs> oh, I love this. I think it's gonna go great with my um, Monet painting. <laughs> It's a 25 watt bulb. <laughs> you guys, this is a work of art. This is art. Oh. This is so heavy. You've got, that's my favorite color. <laughs> aqua. Look at the blue and the aqua and the orange and the yellow. 
Oh, you guys. Stunning. Stunning. I love, I, this is art. This is literally art. <laughs> but someone literally made this with pieces of colored glass and clear glass. It's a heavy bugger. It's so heavy. <laughs> made in Mexico. It literally has the made in Mexico. I was hoping for Sensi to do like a Murano glass. Close enough. <laughs> you guys, look how thick that glass is. It's thick. <gasps> you guys, I love this. With all of my heart, I love this. I love everything about it. Okay. You guys, I had to have this. I still want Aqua Glow. I kind of still want Ocean Ombre. This is stunning. I had to have it. I had, oh, it's even more beautiful lit up, you guys. Look at how gorgeous. That's beautiful. You don't even really notice the light all that much. And if you do, you just turn it to a space that doesn't have that. You guys, and look, it's literally like they lit up a Coke, Coke glass, Coke bottle. It's literally like a Coke bottle, you guys. Do you see that? Like a Coca-Cola bottle. You guys. <laughs> look how stunning. That's gorgeous it's heavy it's so heavy <gasps> that's freaking fantastic <gasps> i love this verve i i cannot recommend this guy enough this is holy crap <laughs> this is this is worth every single penny. I think this was $60. I got it for free. <laughs> wow. Wow. I literally, words cannot describe how good this is. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is art. This is, this is art. I, <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless. This is art. This is heavy. Oh, you guys. I, after Christmas, this is going out. <laughs> this is, I might put this in the office for now. And that bulb sits pretty close to the dish. Do you see that? That's pretty close to the dish. And this is about the color that that office is upstairs too. Oh. <gasps> But in the summer, this is totally going under my Monet. <laughs> my um, Monet replication. I, this is Monet. This is Monet. And then um, Van Gogh Ocean one is on the... You can't really see it. But um, if you love blown glass, if you love art, this is... You'll, you won't regret this. This will literally make the best gift ever ever i words cannot describe at how stunning this is how well made this is sensi please make more of this type of thing this is fantastic absolutely fantastic uh, yeah <laughs> of the new warmers this is the first one i had to have i had to have it of the harvest, it was totally Calaverita. Had to have it. <laughs> um, if I could only get two, these were the two that I wanted. Was Calaverita and this one. This is heavy. Like heavy. Like, like other ones are heavy, but not like glass heavy. Like this is so th thick. Almost dropped that. Like so thick. Like so thick. Literally a Coke bottle. Oh, you guys. I cannot wait for Dale Nikki's. Honestly, if my cats knock this off, it's so thick, I don't know that it would break. 
if my kindness warmer survived getting knocked off of there, this is so thick. That's the prettiest darn thing I've ever seen. Wow, you guys. Stunning. <laughs> That's one of the best warmers since he's ever made. And I love the Dragonfly warmer. I love the Harry Potter Hogwarts warmer. This is still one of the absolute best warmers that they have ever, ever made. If you want to feel your money's worth right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll stop. Uh, you guys, that's my party haul. Except I'm going to put these guys in a separate video. So, um, just because I don't have the scent notes for the, the cancer. I got to look that up. You guys, that's so beautiful, lit and unlit. It's magnificent. I I literally, can you tell? That's the most amazing thing ever. You guys, ever. I mean, look at that thing. That's beautiful. That's summer right there. Oh, that's stunning. Okay. <laughs> I just. That's my new favorite thing. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I literally am obsessed with everything. Um, except maybe the, the hand cream, not so much. Um. <laughs> And a couple wax bars that are for Dale. I love everything. Thank you to everyone who made that possible. That's, that's literally gorgeous. <laughs> Words you cannot describe. That's the nicest thing. And just sitting here, it reminds me of marbles. When you were little, marbles. But I'm not even joking. Like, you saw it enough. White, amber, antique. I'm impressed with that in laundry. The oils, you guys, the oils are phenomenal. Um, it's pretty. It's not nearly as manly as I thought. So, been an hour. I still got to film that. Um, <laughs> I bought that, obviously. You can't get that with host rewards or... We used to be able to, but not now. I don't know. Um, I am even impressed with the bat warmer, you guys. This little pumpkin is cute and adorable as all heck. I haven't even looked to see if any of this is sold out yet or not. You guys, I think it's still all available. All of it. I promise you, best Christmas gift you could ever give someone who's into that. Yeah. So... Thanks guys, that was so much fun. I have another party I'm working on. Um, I ordered the Disney um, villains, um, the warmer in the Ursula doll. You knew I had to have that, it's, it's Ursula. Um, I have two Scentsy Clubs coming. Buckle up kids, cause <laughs> there's a lot of stuff for me um, from Scentsy. Um, I ordered the Dumbo Brick. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you guys, um, lots of excitement. I have a Sassy Girl Roma haul coming up this week as well. So, and my first time trying perfumes of hers. So, yeah, you guys. Um, so, thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who made this possible. And um, you know who you are. And yeah, we'll see you soon, guys. Make sure you join Natalie and Charity. I think it's on Nat's channel. Um, Jersey Shore Living used to be Melt with Nat and Jack, but Natalie, um, I think they post live on her channel, so definitely check out her channel. Um, she's trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so make sure you like and subscribe, um, with Natalie, and bingo is a hoot. You just pick five numbers, and then they call off numbers. You keep track of your numbers. It's, it's so much fun, and they have all kinds of amazing prizes. 
Um, it's worth it in October. Stay tuned and we will see you guys soon. Bye.